You, I watched season one and two of The Bachelor. Oh, good, good. And guess what? I wanted you, not The Bachelor. <laughs> nice. OK, I'll... I'll wear some clothes with the apron, though. Okay. <laughs> Gorgeous, you guys are in for a treat today on the show. We've got Annabelle White and we've got two fantastic recipes. So what are we going to be trying cooking Oh, later? we're just going to do something really, really simple. We are, but, oh, not, but we need Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll put it on. Okay, <laughs> okay I'm nice. Tie you up. I want to tie you up Ooh. on live TV. Ooh. Yeah. All right, so we've got two recipes. Ooh. We've got some uh, buttermilk scones or scones. <laughs> scones. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm British. Scones. And uh, some little BLT sliders. And we've got a little tip to make your tomatoes taste a lot better. And yeah. uh, hopefully Mike's going to be doing all the work later. Oh, right. <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. Great. Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, it's so wonderful to be with Mark. I love being with Mark. It's just terrific. <laughs> but listen, I'm going to lure you in. Come on in, Mike. Ooh. You know what Snap said about sexy men? I say it's the apron. That's <laughs> <laughs> good looks. Pull off the basket, darling. Look busy. Oh, okay. nice. OK, Mike, good. What are we doing, Sorry. darling? What are we doing? Oh, yeah. Right, so we're, so we're going to... Uh, we're making a bacon butty, really, aren't we? Yeah. Like a, a classic British dish, uh, dear to my heart. And we've just been talking about this before. This is the, probably the best way to do your bacon, is grill it. Yep. So I'm just going to do that on a sheet, a bit of grease for your paper, leave the rind on for now, under a hot grill, get it nice and crispy, yep. and that's what we've got there. And then we can just cut the rind off later. I always travel New Zealand with one of these bags <laughs> because you're never too sure there's going to be good food or where there's going to be enough. And what I actually have to say to you right now, Mike, you, no, Mike, you get used to this. I okay. actually quite like using... Oh. This is this is this, this bacon here is even... This is delicious because it's got more meat in it. This lovely kiwi bacon. You could try that. But okay, you've already cool. prepared some earlier, but that's OK. Oh, I can take uh, that no, home. No, but I'm, I actually, despite <laughs> this... I've done my height to weight ratio. I should be 7 foot 5, I know. So I tend to often like to use... A a little bit of the old okay. boca spread on mine. We'll just, so we'll what we're going to do now is simple, <laughs> simple, simple, simple. Are you noticing this, Mike? Because this is really important. Yeah, I'm noticing the way, everything. The way to a woman's heart is through a good hearty sandwich. Oh, now, good. here we go. Now, <laughs> we're going to hold on to that, sweetheart. Hold on to that. Oh. Now, we're going to do the bacon first. We're cooking the bacon. Yeah, so we've got the bacon cooking. And, and there's a great tip, actually, which I was reading your recipe. So this is fantastic. So you can just use fresh tomatoes if you want. But if you want to intensify those flavours, get your mm. tomatoes, nice thick slices, bit of olive oil. A little bit of balsamic vinegar Beautiful. on top. Look at that. Salt and pepper. Bit of seasoning, Mike. You need like. a bit of seasoning. And then the thing is, like always that. keep your tomatoes out of the fridge. It's really important to keep them out of the fridge for extra Oh, flavor. really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and okay, Mike, I didn't know that. I'm not going too fast for you. I'm not no. too much, is it? And it's a close space. But what you can I can do handle is, a fast woman in about it. Come along to the Christchurch Food Show. Come oh, yeah. along. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. Like Aunt Daisy on steroids. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about sponges and, kus and all sorts of Kings things. Kiss. All like, marvellous things. I mean, you might think, well, I can't believe I've turned to the cafe and they're doing a bacon slider. But you can get with the lovely kiwi bacon, you can do the most extraordinary thing. Mm. And it's delicious because there's far too much pretension when it comes to food. Oh, you're so right. So, yeah, I like that. You like this? Mm. I think we're moving on to another level, you and I, Mike. <laughs> now, what we do, Mike, don't feel out of it. Mix Hi. the pesto with the mayonnaise. <laughs> and we're just toasting up. This is beautiful, fresh vocals bread. You could put a bit of oil on there as well okay, if you wanted sorry. to. Okay, <laughs> sorry. And, and the thing is, yep, oh, good on you, darling. And the thing is, the tomatoes, we've just cooked in the oven for how long, Mark? Oh, so a low oven for about sort of 30 minutes around yeah. about 30 minutes, so they so just shriveled up a bit, intensify the flavour. So they're soft and gooey and mm. flavoursome. And mm. you see, you could, of course, just have a regular old tomato, but these are taking it up a notch. <laughs> so, here we go. We, uh, let's just pretend we've okay, got we'll flip, TV. Okay, we'll flip just that. Just pretend everybody these okay. are grilled, OK? Or you can get the slider. We can also trim... No, 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 the sliders are gone. They're gone? Oh. So it's not Vogel's. No, no, you like that? OK, OK, all right. <laughs> and now... So how do we how do we layer it? What's just first? Just go for it, darling, What's, just go okay. for it. Mike, are you watching? Yeah, I'm watching. Really yeah, yeah, and no, here I'm we good. go. <laughs> Salad greens, always wash the packet and spin it around. Make sure you get all the moisture off. Throw this on top like so. Yeah. Oh, not too much. Enough. I mean, don't do this. Don't do that. <laughs> that's too much. Well, that's how I'd do that's it. too much. That's too right. much. So go there. Throw okay, the tomatoes so, on there, Mark. what next? Tomatoes on Mark, next? it's your show, darling. It's your show. I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's your recipe. <laughs> I don't want to deviate. <laughs> I like a little bit of bacon, a little bit of warm bacon, and honestly, oh, true, beautiful. this is so yummy. Now, is there anyone from the health department watching? Oh, no. OK, right, we'll just throw it on there. Oh. Look, pile it up. Cause, oh, oh you, that is what? me. You can have that. Oh, oh, yeah. The way to his man's heart is through kiwi bacon. That's right. Now, here we go. Look mm. at that. You know what? Mm. You could serve that, and people would think it was absolutely delicious. Oven-roasted tomatoes, crispy bacon, salad greens. It's nutritional, it's delicious, it's yummy, and the pesto with the you get $18 for that in Auckland. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll stick to Christchurch, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, that's what you're doing, isn't it? You're off to the yeah, Christchurch show. Are. That'll be fun. And we've got food shows throughout the whole of New Zealand. We've got them in Auckland and Wellington as well. But what I like to do is people think, oh, not another cooking show. I zhuzh it up. I bring the Dr. <laughs> Phil of cooking along. I go up to people and say, how's everything at home? We can just change things around with the recipe <laughs> to make things better. Nice. You know. Well, you made the kitchen look so much good looking today. So good looking. <laughs> we trashed it, Mike. Good. Trashed nice. it. <laughs> like a hurricane in the I kitchen. I know, I know. You know, my, my mother always says, what's lovely about you on the telly, you've got a lovely smile and you've got lovely manners. Oh, nice. Really nice. Thanks. So now, now Thanks. You're, my, you're now my other half. Oh, OK. So we travel everywhere with this, <laughs> OK? That? It's with heavy. This. And we need to have this. I always carry a nice bowl and I always travel with a grater. I know you can get those cheap at the Briscoes. You know, my you don't have an old goodness. One. All, all sorts of things well, in there. We don't. won't show people sure. what's at the bottom. No. Oh, don't, no, don't, no, don't go down there, darling. Don't go there. That's the ones you've finished, that's that's ones you finished cooking. No, okay. Okay. Over here, we're chopping up apricots. Now, I want to share with you something. You yes. two are looking at a YouTube sensation. Yes, if you go to Annabelle White on YouTube, I've had 167,000 views on my buttermilk scone Ooh, video. On your buttermilk scone? I thought you said smell. <laughs> yes. Now, be very careful, Mike. Don't look at Annabelle White images because there is a Russian woman blonde mm -hmm. on, naked on a horse. That's not me. I <laughs> well, okay. Good. Just ignore that. Thank you for the warning. So let's just get on to the scones. Is that this what is really we're making? Yes. Absolutely. We must always make scones because look how fabulous they are. Mark, do you love this? They're beautiful, look, yeah. Look, honestly, <laughs> the sweetheart, you're chopping the apricots. Let's get on with this, guys. What's what do you really want in there first? You must use good quality flour. So I'm sure you've got something like it. You've got to have good quality flour or you're not going to get a great result. self rising flour is a good idea. Oh, darling, I'm leaning over. Can you, can you stretch? <laughs> can you stretch? <laughs> yes. Now, in. Oh, oh, that's a little bit, a little bit of baking powder. Even if you're using self-raising, I like to use a bit of baking powder. And here's a hot tip: with baking powder, like good old Edmunds baking powder, stir it from the bottom because as it sits in the in the pantry, all the good things go to the bottom. So this is self-raising flour and a little bit of baking powder and a little bit of salt. Oh all right, does that make well. them? Does that make them slightly bigger? Oh. What the salt? <laughs> it's size important. <laughs> wow. Right, right, no, well, well, whatever. Um, okay, now get the grater out. Oh, darling. grater. This okay, cool. Really yes. Important. Throw the apricots in. Yeah. And throw the, the currants yeah. in. And then this is the really important part. We've got the butter and we've got the buttermilk. Now, this is. Now, listen, guys. What do you want? What do you want? Okay, where is my, the grater there? Yeah. Sometimes I keep the butter rock hard, solid, like this. Um, this will do, this will do just as well, but be careful with your fingers, sweetheart. Keep it like this. Now what you do is you get the old grater and you go like this. Now sometimes for absolutely perfect scones... Oh, look at that. Look, I'm doing all the work. This is crazy, <laughs> <That's nothing. really. laughs> the, best, the best time in the kitchen yes. ever, Annabelle. Now let me just tell you right now, I actually have people who call up and say, put the scones in the oven before they come over. I have contractors who say to me that they're not going to come and do my plumbing all my electrical stuff unless they get the scones. So a way to a man's heart is through making gorgeous scones. And it's now, fast. It's I like fast. it. It yeah. is fast. Now, Mike, can you do this? Yep. Can you just keep going with this? What we'll do, stir it around. With do a knife. Not, with a knife. Do with a not knife. put your hand in there. Now, the secret to making great scones, let's just go through it, recap real quickly. Good quality butter. Make sure you add a little bit of extra baking powder. Stir that baking powder. Add a bit of salt and ice cold butter. Now, let me just, we'll just leave it here because that's crazy. This is dragging on. That's not good TV just going all in there. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Gee, honestly. Mike, concentrate. I'm not I am. Now, let me tell you something. You know when you work out, yes, like, I do, yes, uh, you I produce know lactic feeling. acid, you know, yes. well, this is the thing about buttermilk. Buttermilk, people think buttermilk is a fattening product. They think it's butter added to milk. This is the old liquid left over from the butter making process. Okay. But nowadays it's made with low fat milk and it's really, really delicious. Now the secret to making great scones is to add lots of buttermilk and make the mixture quite wet. Is it hard so, to find? Oh no, you can get the supermarket and the thing is oh, yeah, shake it up, baby, shake it up, oh, shake yeah. it up. And the expiry date. It says best before, you can keep it in the fridge for weeks afterwards and it's still fine. Now, that is still, it's a little bit dry, so we're just going to squirt a bit more buttermilk, because I always carry buttermilk with me. You can put this leftover buttermilk into mashed potatoes. You can even smear it all over the face. Can you? Give it a go. Yeah, all right, OK. It doesn't right. work. Yeah, there we go, oh, darling. Nice. Oh, 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 beautiful. There are so many multiple ways of using buttermilk. Now, the thing is, oh, no, don't overwork it, darling. Oh, you don't want to upset Jesus. the gluten. Now, I, that's why, you see, you're looking at that, you're thinking, oh, that's a disaster. It's too wet. Fear not. Fear we've got, not. We've got, we've got flour. more flour. Yep. That's what I say. Good quality flour. You, good, you've got to have good quality flour. And here's the thing. You throw, you just put that together and then you put it out onto the board. Oh, I don't think we've got much more time. Oh, no, uh, I think we are done for time. Okay, um, so plonk it down, cut it up, 
And look at these. Look at these. Here's nice some we made earlier. Oh, I, I always can look at those. Good. Look. Aren't oh, they delicious? Beautiful. I've got to tell mm. you, the wetter you can make the dough, the wetter you can handle it. Look, like that, that is absolutely ideal. Do not fear. Do not panic. Just put a bit more flour on here. Mm -hmm. And here's another little tip. Don't yep. pat it out. Just go like that. <laughs> Don't turn it like this. Okay. And then just cut it like this. <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, I feel we're going to have a great relationship. Oh. You just don't care, do no, you? No, this is great. I don't care no. either. No. It's all I've got a, I've got a joke for you. Max, I've got a joke, joke for you. Go. What's, what's the fastest cake in the world? Scone. Oh, oh nice. I <laughs> like that. On that note, we'll come back very soon. We'll see the finished product. Hopefully it looks like this. Whoa, oh. delicious. An out-of-body experience. Oh, bring oh, them yay. over. Bring oh, them over. Bring them over. You get a seat. Oh, do I get a seat? Yeah, you get, to, you oh, get to sit down. Man, it yeah. gives me a seat. Nice. Gentlemen, nice. here we go, Mike. Now listen, have one of these, darling. Oh, it's an yeah. out-of-body experience. Oh, yeah. nice. Truly, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to get the biggest one. Oh, I think I'm going to go, boys. That looks good. You've been so much fun, Annabelle. Thank you so much.